right folks what are we doing so um we've had a change of events let's put it this way bonita loca the 67 bug is starting a new chapter in her life probably a better one for her okay so project sin behind us took a dump about a week ago on the way to work I was driving and I threw a rod in the motor so I've got to get some sort of new motor for this uh, whether it's the original KA 24e four-cylinder uh, those are actually kind of hard to find right now so I'm thinking about doing an LS swap on this thing seriously it would be easier to find an LS motor and transmission to throw in here boys wanted to do it anyway so now is a perfect time for that well, anyhow so I needed to loosen up some money around the house to uh, come up with another ride or motor for this uh, since it's my everyday driver so had to do what you have to do adults have to do sometimes I had to put this project here up for sale so I put it on Facebook marketplace for some money and I had a fella out of Arkansas offer me a new ride so I'm not going to tell you what it is I'll let the video speak for itself on that you'll see it evidently he is a avid collector of VW's okay um, if I can I'll get some pictures from him of a few he's got so like I said this thing's going to a better place anymore someone who's more familiar with him who's probably gonna fix her up quicker than what I've been fixing her up okay so this is the last time today is the last time probably I may get a video update from him of it running and driving down the road but today is the last day she will be in our possession so Bonita Loca 67 bug going on to better places We gotta get the supervisor's supervisor's thoughts. <coughs> supervisor's got a cold. What do you think? Cool. cool. It's got some big tires, huh? Down. Yeah, it's a spare tire. In case you get a flat tire. Oh. You put that on yet? No, you don't put it on. It's a spare tire. No, I mean that. Yeah, we'll have to put that on in a little bit. Come over here. We gotta do some work to the inside. You want to sit in it for a minute? Yeah. I can get up. Ah! Or not. Yes, Yeah, there's no door handle yet. There we go. Let's go. Dude, what is that? I gotta put all that stuff back together. What's that though? That's supposed to go on the ceiling, on the roof. That part? Yeah. All right, come on. Wait. 
All right, what did we trade Benita Loca for? Here we start our journey with a 99 Jeep Grand Cherokee. That badge says limited. Sitting on 32s. Sounds like the supervisor's back out. Thirty-two inch Maxis Bighorns. Those rims look good. Black. Looks like we got some how you want to say it, Alteza, Alteza tail lights. Tinted in the back windows. Fur Fur. V8. It's got the 4.7. It says Jeep Quadra Drive, which is kind of. I'm going to assume this is a quarter drive. The uh, shifter on the inside side says select drive, but that might just be a new interior piece. Just a second. Let's get a view from this side. So we got the back windows tinted, front windows are not. I may come back with the light tint and do those windows eventually. Limited Grand Cherokee. But Dad, what will, <sighs> happen if, what will you do if all those are wheels are blown up? Well, hopefully you only blow one wheel up at a time, son. Okay, moving on. Bumper's obviously off. There's our spare. No lights. The lights are on the inside. I've got to put the lights in the front bumper back on. So let's give you a rundown of this Jeep. We're gonna have to come up with a name for it later. All the vehicles got names. There's Project Sin. Bernita Loca just left. Space Cowboy we don't wanna talk about right now. That's Space Cowboy over there. Who? The van. All right, so there's the outside rundown. We've got to give you the inside rundown. So one of the things I noticed before we go to the inside is that tire, the tires, front tires do rub. So we're probably going to have to come back with some fender flares or something later on down the road. You just can't turn real sharp right now. I do need a, you don't need a one. They're odd here, silly. All right, before I open this door, here was the deal, okay? I was told that the inside of this was pretty much gutted. The interior, the headliner, the carpet was gutted. It's all in there, supposedly all new is on the inside. We just have to put it back, okay? Initial thoughts, being honest, I was not scared of that, okay? I opened the door, I was a little concerned. It's not just your old fashioned, old 60s model put pickup truck. This thing has got quite a few wires that are gonna have to be hooked up. So that is a little bit intimidating, but with the supervisor's help giving me guidance, I'm sure we will be all right, right? Why? Right? What? Just say right. What? So there is no, this door panel's off. No carpet. Those seats, he recovered the seats, said he got new upholstery for the seats, so those front seats look pretty good. So why are you out here? So we got a few wires hanging from the roof for the dome lights etc radios out i think i saw it in the back 
Um, those panels are on. It looks like all the other door panels are on. So and there's all the stuff in the back. The old carpet's back there. Um, he said he was going to take the old carpet, put it back down, and he got a thin carpet that goes over the top of it. He said that'd probably be the easiest bet. There's our roof. It does have a sunroof. Where's the sunroof? Uh, what the? That's good part of my mom. Yeah, just like mom's van. There's the back. Sander. Look at me. So there's what we're looking like. We're going to try to do like a time lapse or something here. Taking all this stuff out and putting it in the shipping container. First things we got to do to make this road worthy is reinstall these lights so we can see at night. Those are some pretty nice looking cool lights. They just need to be cleaned up a little bit. And put that front door panel on so I can open and close the door easily. Xander. Have at it. Look who showed up after all the work was done. Corby. So you all right, we got everything out. Actually put it in that thing over there for the time being. All of them? It's a weird handle. Everything's out. That we could take out. Dad, you got shock muscles for that big foot? I don't know. Anyways, Weird seatbelts too. it's going to be like a puzzle getting some of this stuff back together, I'm sure. Where is the interior? So one thing that concerned me just a little bit is this carpet is slightly damp back here in the back we got a little bit of water there so evidently we're getting probably getting some rain water in something's leaking 
so we need to that'll be one of the first things we need to do is figure out where the water's coming in at I'm out here on a sunny day or a rainy day and uh, either let it rain or spray the water hose over it and try to find out where we're leaking it could be that sunroof I could actually see a little bit of daylight through that sunroof it may be coming through there and honestly if it is and it's going to be a problem with getting it to seal I may come back and I will silicone that sucker in I don't have to have that thing uh, operational but we'll see I can see some daylight so it's probably probably is leaking a little bit through there that's just something that's gonna happen over 20 plus years with the automobile uh, the because the seals look pretty good these they may be new the ones around the door look like they need to be stretched out some but uh, that'll be something we'll work through here is a view of the motor I see 178,000 on the odometer it's 4.7 Papa's uh, Dodge Durango actually has the 4.7 in it it looks slightly probably more updated this thing here may just have the the dust cover off of it I guess What did you just say? It has to have the bumper on. Then it will look cool. So it doesn't look cool right now? Yeah. He just told me it didn't look cool because it doesn't have the bumper on it. Yes. But it's not cool yet. Just a quick note. Looking at the front here. I see all this wiring. Oh god. I'm feeling it now. looks like somebody was fixing to... Um, install a fancy radio in here those don't look like pioneer plugs so but we may take the pioneer stereo out of the Nissan and throw it in here and be good to go it's already got the extra harnesses to make it easy so Time for your bumper. Dude, it's not time to put the bumper on. I gotta get ready for work. How long? We're gonna have to wait till Dad said put the bumper on. Let's hurry up. Dude! We're gonna wrap it up for today I gotta get ready to go to work I'm gonna take a little more time and go through the headlights they're kind of being a bugger to get in there's some extra plugs on here because they got the angel eye looking things I guess you'd call them so I'm probably gonna come in here with like a saw and kind of trim this here out so I can get some of that wiring harness in there. It's being a pain in the butt to get it in there. But we're going to wrap it up. We got to think of a name for the new Jeep WJ 99 model. We'll be back.